Okay, right, I was tweeting and I was getting some feedback on some stuff that I was tweeting and I must say it's crazy. Um where do I even want to start this? I start with some of the tweets that I said. I start out saying women today are losing their power as a woman. And I, I'm going to start by saying I'm not supposed to edit this or anything else. I'm going to speak it how it is. So if you don't want to hear some stuff, I advise you to click off right now. Thanks for the view and checking in. But I'm not supposed to edit anything right now. Women. Okay, pussy is power. Let's put it that way. Pussy, vagina, cooter cat, whatever you want to call it, is power. When you look back at your great-grandparents who's been married for 50, 60, 70 years, you know what I mean? You think, how do you think it lasted that long? My generation, kids my age, we have no hope for a 50th anniversary wedding party. You know, a wedding um, celebration. We just have no hope. And I was on Facebook and Kanaj made a um, good point. She said maybe what it was was the simple fact that old people didn't believe in divorce. Divorce is not something that just came out in the 2000s. It's been around. I say marriages lasted that long, you know, because women back then didn't take no shit. I'm at home cooking and cleaning. You take your ass to work, bring home the check, help take care of these kids, and that was that. I think back then men actually loved their wives, and I'm not saying some of them don't now, but they realized what they had at home. And some of you young niggas just don't get that. And when I say niggas, I'm not just talking about black people. It's a term that I'm really trying to stop using, but. It's sad. It's beyond sad. Now that it's up and down my timeline, I got, oh, you hoes have your fun because he coming home to me at night. Yeah, y'all just some quick fucks and with a woo and a lot of life. Like, what the hell are you thinking? I'm sorry, but if you are... My lover, my significant other, my baby daddy, my whatever. If you are in a relationship, there is no us. As in me, him, and his bitches. That's just unacceptable. How can you sit up as a so-called woman and say it is okay for you other females to sleep around with my man because at the end of the day, I know he's bringing his funky ass home to me. That just means you have to wash their nut, his nut, and all the rest of the bitches that they didn't sleep with out of his funky ass drawers. And that ain't cool. It's bad enough that you wash his if you wash his. But to sit up there and watch some other females um body bodily fluids, come on now. He come in the door and he kissing on you. You don't know where his lips be? Really? How did I how his bitches taste? That's what you need to ask yourself and you sitting up asking him, how do you taste? No, boo boo. You sitting up constantly complaining about how he's out in the streets. So how do they taste? The joke is on you. You are the one who looks like foo foo the damn fool. You sitting up there allowing the shit and then you want to cry. You want to call up your girlfriends. I'm tired of John John doing this. He needs to bring his ass home. He ain't taking care of Jumanji. He not doing this. He not doing that. But oh, it's okay because you like me, remember? So shut the hell up and deal with it. You know. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I never have. I've never stated that. But I do believe, and, I, and I'm young and I do make mistakes, but I do believe I have common sense. 
if you are in a relationship, if you are married, if you are committed, if you say I'm your woman and you're my man, there are no hoes. There, there is not any other males. And I was telling my girl this the other day. Why do you think you never really see me committed right now? Because if you like to fuck, you like to do what you do, why well, get committed to somebody? Because my mama always say the shit you do is the shit you get. And that's true. Karma is a bitch. It is. So you can't sit up here and be in a relationship with your dude and still fucking around with your other friends with benefits. The moment you say, okay, I'm your woman, that's when you cut out all the physical with your other niggas. If you can't handle that, then I'm going to need for you to put those to call as they number. Don't get rid of them because that's dumb because half of y'all are young right now. You're not going to find your high school sweetheart or your husband's right now, especially if you're not looking for it. So, but when you commit to somebody, you need to commit to them. And like I said, I'm sitting here and I honestly believe some of y'all believe it's cute and, you know, think it's funny. And no, it's not. You just look like a damn fool. Point blank period. I saw the other day she was like, oh, uh, I'm stuck at the house. Because, and yes, I am saying it. Cause, and don't tempt me because I will take the tweets in your name and make a video about it and show it to you. But I have viewers in the UK, Australia, all around the damn world. I will put your ass on blast. So don't come at me with that. But she was like, he got my car and I can't go to work. Um, And he got the night to be telling, talking about he out with his bitches. What? You mean to tell me you gotta go to work? Your so-called nigga is out in your car because probably driving off your gas, but he was one of his other females. Who looked like a stupid fool? It is what it is. The truth hurts. How they say the truth self sets you free. So maybe if you see somebody else saying and realizing, no, I don't comment on your stuff because I don't give two fucks about half of you. But if I comment on it or tell you to it, tell you something privately, then you must be a little out of control. You know what I mean? But no, she was like, I can't go to work. I'm always late to work because he always had my car. If he always had your car that you pay notes on or whatever the case may be, and he doesn't have one. He's not working. Why does he have your car? I don't understand it. I never will understand it. I will never abide by it. I won't go by it. Females have got to do better. You've got to do better. So what you going to do when you come home from work, you just stood up and work 12 hours, or however long it is on your shift, and you come home, and you walk in your house that you paying the bills on because this nigga not working. Or if he is working, he not paying no bills because what? You got him. And you come in your house and you walk into your bedroom and you got another female in there with your man. What you going to do then? You going to get mad? You going to do some waiting to exhale type shit? No. You don't. Because if somebody else was there with you, they sh you the, what they should do is make you close the damn door. If they stop, tell them to continue for you to close the door, walk on in there and start cooking dinner for your man. Because why you said it was okay for him to run around and have his other hoes. And it's vice versa for, for the men, but I don't see too many dudes talking about, oh yeah, my female out with her hoes right now, her other niggas. No, because they will replace your ass just like that. I think, I think females are becoming I can't even think of a word for it because it's it's like y'all I don't know y'all so caught up in the saying oh that's my man that you letting him do everything you the only one in the relationship you know what I mean 
So until you think you are ready to do something like that or you can actually control something, I'm going to need for y'all to get smart. Because a girl talking about she fits to lose her job because her nigga's still in a car and riding a car and he with his other girlfriends. What would your mama think? What would your grandmother think of you? Her precious child being a straight dumbass. No other way to put it. What would they think? What would they think? Ladies, learn your worth. At the end of the day, that's all it comes down to. Learn your worth. If you worth being second hand to somebody else in a relationship, then that's pretty damn sad. If that's all you worth, you're not worth the respect. You're not worth. That's it. You're not worth. You're not even worth the respect. You know, that's total disrespect. Total disrespect. And I'm, I, I know people are human. You know, shit happens. But for you to know about it and for it to continuously go on, there's no excuse for it. It's no excuse. You need a damn 1-800 number. 1-800, I'm a damn fool. Can you help me? That's the number you need to dial. And it might not be a work number, but if you need it, inbox me. And I'll give you my cell phone number. Because that's what it is. It is. And I'm sorry if you take offense to any of the tweets that I have tweeted. If you take offense to this video, that only tells me one thing. You are the key person that I am talking about. And this video isn't directly to one of anybody. I keep saying women. Women is not one. It's more than one. It's plural. <laughs> I ain't never go to English class, but I ain't dumb either. So... With that being said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna close this out. And I'm gonna go back to tweeting, but I was just getting a little too intense in the, in the middle of the tweets, cause I was getting the feedback and people was mentioning me, saying it ain't right and all these other excuses. It's not no excuse for that. It's not, it's not an excuse for that. So, um, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe, share, reshare my video. Let me know. Bye. Don't be a victim. Please don't be a victim. Okay? Okay.